Okay, I know, I know, I know I said I was returning back to Greenville, but this update is too amazing to not go over it. It's not about the new MD series truck, it's not about the performance improvements, it's about the wheel. And the wheel is the biggest thing about BeamNG because it's a driving game. So let's get straight into it, no more talking. To show off this new update, we have three specific cars. We have this McLaren F1 by Frix. Shout out the cool kid. He sh basically showed me that this car is amazing and I've driven it. It definitely is amazing. It has different drive modes. The doors open up, as you can see, and all that. Next, we have the Honda NSX. This car is perfect. This is my favorite Beam G mod right here. I've been driving the 2005 model. I don't know how the 90s one handles, but we'll try that out. It also has openable doors, as you can see. And you can also open the trunk right there. Same thing with the F1. You can open that, check out the engine. You can open that component right there. See the exhaust. Of course, it has openable doors. You got the trunk. It even has trunk lights. Um, you get the point. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. So this should have a 4.6 liter V8. I have an aftermarket intake with a supercharger on there. That's why you see it right there. It's a stage one. Alrighty, my favorite car mod in Beam and G. Let's go ahead and hop in. Close the door. Turn it on. You know, idle's very chill and whatnot, but the sound sounds like the real thing. So I'll give you guys a few revs. Y'all like that, all right. So what's changed so much about Beam and G on wheel? Well, they always put it at the bottom of the patch notes like it's something small usually it is but this update you can really notice it like it's actually really noticeable so we're just going to get out the neighborhood real quick and one thing that i can say right away is that the wheel is a lot more responsive don't get me wrong the wheel is always crazy responsive because it's a wired connection but it's basically one to one now so if my wheels turn that way it's turned that way like each individual input that I put in feels like a real car because it's instant. There's no more delay at all. The major change, which has changed Beam and G forever, in my opinion. So let's do a little pull right here. That was a sh downshift. car is pretty quick honestly I know it's just a Honda NSX but it is a fast one don't get me wrong okay now that we are out the neighborhood the biggest change that they have made actually helps you with drifting so in a real life car when you drift to the right the wheel kind of self steers to the left and then it's based on you to hold the drift at that point throttle control and all that i'll demonstrate right now when you see me drift to the right you'll see the wheel self steer in game so let's go ahead dump it from first self steering self steering catch it it's amazing bro like it spins instantly now before i'd have to correct it a little bit but now it just goes wherever you want it like bro it's amazing This mod is amazing too. Like, I wouldn't be able to notice it as much if I had like some trash mods, but this mod is amazing. Slow down a little bit. Downshift. Go in the corner, gas it out. This car is amazing, bro. It just keeps going too. That's only fourth. Fifth. We're gonna hit this exit over here, head towards the city a little bit, play around in there donuts and whatnot take over us no, i'm joking hit a few downshifts okay yeah so this light's turning red so i can show you guys a little drifting mechanics again once it turns green but 
Yeah, let me know if y'all want a mix of Greenville and BeamNG because honestly, this is more of a filler video. However, it works well considering that I have the full wheel set up. My computer, my computer runs BeamNG well. And yeah, I mean, just check out this mod while we're at it too. I think the light's about to change it up, so we'll see what we can do. Watch this, y'all. Like what? I wasn't able to do that before. Oh my gosh, my words can't even get out. But this mod is amazing. I don't know who made this mod, but it's so freaking good. Like, we're gonna take this corner right under 90. And I'm only going 90, so BeamNG's sense of speed is also really, really good. Let's just let it ride. Slow her down a little bit, don't wanna crash her. This mod, man, this mod is, yeah, this mod is the one. Okay, too fast, but you know, the wheel's more responsive now. The force feedback actually feels slightly more heavier, which helps with the self steer, so I don't really mind it. It's actually great. It feels more realistic for sure. Yeah, like, yeah, bro, like I could handle the car, toss it around corners, and slide some turns. But once we get up here, we're actually gonna try out some donuts and whatnot take the car back home and then we'll try out the f1 we're gonna try first yeah this thing's amazing you gotta really play with the throttle but once you get that down it's really fun to drive let's see if we can do a nice little exit It's amazing, bro. It's amazing, bro. I can't. It's amazing. So we're gonna take this to the exit, hop into McLaren, see how that thing handles and whatnot. Go ahead, slow her down. Woo, the downshifts second I want to try something it didn't get loose like I wanted it to but it still gave a nice little tail whip all right let's go first person of course oh you even get a Louis Vuitton bag too uh, I don't know if it's in there yeah it's in there y'all can see it but uh, yeah close the door I think there's an ignition button, if I'm not mistaken. I just seen it. Uh, I don't know. The switch. Okay, yeah, whatever. Let's just start the car and get into it. All right, now this one's less of a drift car, but this one kind of just gets a feel for the wheel, so. And it sounds amazing too, which you'll see in a second. Force feedback is actually lighter on this car, surprisingly, considering this is a street legal race car and the NSX is more of a Honda supercar, so that's different. Um, but I don't mind it. Once we get around this corner, I'll throw it in a second, see what she can do, just like I did with the Honda. faster obviously of course though it's the mclaren after all i think it was one of the fastest production cars but yeah you seen right there how i recovered that so Ooh, now you can still get jiggy with this car though nah yeah i got it on downforce mode i can't find the gears man all right Ooh. Okay, a little understeer, but we're good. Oh my gosh, the wind shake. This game's just amazing. <laughs> we're moving, man. Okay. 170 on the exit. Let's slow her down. 
Okay. Yeah, this thing's amazing. Let's take this one on some corners and whatnot. I should have took the McLaren here, but you get my point that I'm trying to prove. But yeah, if it just snaps now, you can actually like catch it. And that's something that BeamNG always lacked. It felt a little vague, like Muye said in his video. So it's really good to see the improvements here. Oh yeah, that downforce is really kicking. This thing's like a little go-kart if you sit in the middle. But yeah, ugh, ugh, okay. Yeah, it got a little too snappy for my liking. Let's see if we do a little U-turn. Could really feel that downforce. This game really just consists of, uh, you know, catching the car when it oversteers and whatnot, and it's actually really fun now. Probably the biggest wheel update they've done to this game, honestly. Go ahead. take this to the house. This is a very expensive car, so. Alrighty. Let's see if we can slide a little bit. Oh, okay, yeah, now nah, this one's snappy. You don't want to play too much in this car. It's more of a driving car, for sure. Oh, this is raw. That downshift, nice. <sighs> it just never gets old, man. Even at low RPM, and then it has little burbles and whatnot. Visibility is not there at all. I left my luggage open. Oh my goodness. Okay. Before we get out, let's go ahead and close that luggage door. Um, open the door. Luggage. There we go. Hop out. Close the door. Let's take the Vic for a little drive, shall we? Before I start up, I do have Hellraiser's uh, Crown Vic sound mod, so it will sound a little bit better than what you're used to. So. We're gonna go third person since we are drifting, but we're gonna go UI off just so it looks a little more simple. Let's try second. Like, it's amazing, bro. It's amazing, bro. Now don't get me wrong, I was able to drift this car in 0 0.32, but 33 just fixed everything that 32 had wrong, pretty much, so. We're gonna go ahead and take this one to the city, probably. Do a little first person action. Let's hit this next turn up here. Okay, I couldn't get the clutch to kick out like I wanted to kind of stalled out but saved it let y'all hear the sound tighten down my shifter all right there we go i'm gonna hit this city do some donuts show y'all what this thing can do and then i'll probably be it for today's video let's go to the same intersection that i took the nsx at for a second oh my goodness But yeah, it wants to slide, but the wheel just catches it now. It makes this uh, Thrustmaster TX feel like a much better wheel than what it really is. Because at the end of the day, it's only around 500, which is actually cheap compared to other wheel brands like Moza and uh, Fnatic. But yeah, this thing feels amazing now. gotta play with the throttle and the steering i do have drift steering on this one which is actually really helping me out let's go in that cinematic camera let's see if we can get a roll back <laughs> this thing is like that one hand 
Yeah, I can even do one hand now. That's amazing. Do a little exit. Okay, I got too close to that barrier. I forgot they put that there in point thirty-three. Get some sound clips. Yeah, this thing sounds amazing. Sounds like the real thing, honestly. But yeah, we'll stop it right here in the middle. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, this has been Vuxtry, and I am out.